I usually like to warm you all up with a, a joke or two. I don't do nearly as good a job as our chairman, John Hoshkis, whose jokes are always better. But uh, tonight, I'm not going to do that. So instead, allow me to make a brief comment about the major international news story that we've been following for the last two days, the murder of 12 people at the offices of the satirical French magazine Charlie Hebdo in Paris by two men shouting Islamic slogans on Wednesday morning. As you know, the Los Angeles World Affairs Council is a nonpartisan organization, and we do not take sides on the many conflicts that plague this world. In fact, in laying out the policies of this council, our bylaws state in section three, subsection two, paragraph one, and I quote, this council shall encourage free and fair discussion of any problem or issue pertinent to its purposes. I submit to you that the two men who ran into the editorial offices of Charlie Hebdo magazine with AK-47 rifles and opened fire on the journalists there on Wednesday morning were not engaging in free and fair discussion. As a former journalist and current president of this council, I'm deeply troubled, shocked, and outraged by such an assault on our fundamental rights of freedom of expression. Those who would try to silence with violence the voices of people whose views they oppose show a complete lack of understanding of what constitutes civilized society. Indeed, they do not belong in civilized society. I trust the French police and the penitentiary systems will see to that in short order. From time to time, various parties have put pressure on this council not to feature a certain speaker or to limit what a certain speaker might say. My answer has been and always will be not on my watch. I often disagree with what I hear from our speakers. Thank you. I often disagree with what I hear from our speakers. That's okay. But the freedom to say what you want overrides any individual point of view. It is such a fundamental right that we in the United States actually take it for granted most of the time until someone tries to take it away. We must never give it up. Not to religious extremists in France, nor to cyber hackers in North Korea, nor to autocratic governments in China or Russia or any other country that does not enjoy the rights of our very first constitutional amendment. Thank you. For that reason, I join the many French people tonight who have taken to the streets proclaiming, Je suis Charlie, I am Charlie. And so I won't make any jokes this evening. And I'm going to leave that to the many cartoonists from around the world who, as you've probably seen, have used their pens in the last two days to demonstrate with their humor and satire that our freedom cannot and will not be silenced by the sound of bullets. Thank you for indulging.